Okay, I think I got everything set up. I was racing to get home, and uh, things uh, took me a little while to get here. Just trying to make sure everything is working with some of these new buttons in this setup. How is everybody tonight? Let me uh, do a little catch up here on our chat. So it looks like uh, Shane is first, Noise, Plunge claimed second. Thank you so much, Plunge, for the subscription for the first month. I really appreciate you. Totally unexpected. Um, it's my first night doing this, so there's ads and things that I'm trying to figure out how to manage. <laughs> so we're, we'll one step at a time one step at a time so tonight we're going to be continuing our playthrough or er, starting sorry starting our playthrough of Final Fantasy 3 it is a fantastic game and I got part way through so we're gonna restart all brand new with y'all um, so maybe you can help me name some characters and do the things um, yeah happy happy Tuesday I mean I hope you are having a good day. Looks like your shoes are $8,600. Ooh, those are some boozy shoes. How are mine? Mine are $4,500. That seems more reasonable. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So welcome in, everybody. I hope everyone's having a fantastic day. Today's been long for Augustine, but, you know, worth it. Worth it. Uh, you had therapy today, have dental surgery tomorrow, so you feel calm and ready. Awesome. Yeah, having therapy before big moments like that is always a good strat. Any kind of life change, it's good to have that support and know somebody's got your back. Love that, Emmy, for you. Yeah, I've been doing good. Almost at the end of this two-year process, I know you've been spending a lot of time on your dental care. You are so good at the self-care, Emmy. So proud of you. Keep doing your thing. Um, I was looking at follower goals. Last week we got to 60, which was the goal. And then uh, as I'm logging in now, I already have 64 of 70 followers. Um, I think that's pretty impressive. I'm super excited. Oh, Shane, if you need balls and things like that, I put uh, a new command here. Oh, wait, yeah, you already know. Never mind. You are a pro. You are a pro at this. But uh, for anyone else wanting to play along with the Pokemon community game, right there is a link to all the commands, um, which can be very useful. Very useful. Hey, Proxy. Hey, Proxy. How's it going? Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. Come on in. Come on in. It's good to see ya. Good to see ya. What did you uh, make for dinner tonight, Proxy? Emmy keeps bragging about all the cool things that you cook. So, totally not 100% sure on ads and pre-rolls. I have a button here that's supposed to go every minute and 30 seconds for us that I'm supposed to click, but I might miss it. So this might be a stream of pre-rolls because I'm still adjusting. So if y'all aren't subscribing and you end up in an ad wall, please let me know so I can slow down and take a little break so y'all don't miss out on any gameplay. Hopefully, I catch them in time, but brand new buttons, brand new items. We'll see how that goes. Uh, you had pork chops and egg noodles with sherry gravy. Ooh, that sounds yum yum. Very nice. I had not the so fabulous Taco Bell today. <laughs> I had a taco, um, the Mexican pizza. It was delicious. Probably not as good as your home cooked pork chops, but I quite enjoyed that. Emmy, you get those balls. I know you were doing so good at um, Luigi's Mansion getting those balls. Uh, if y'all aren't uh, following our mod Emmy, definitely give her a follow. 
Hold on. This thing hates me. Because I put the at and it's like, I don't like that. Oh. Oh, it's just not letting me do it. Okay. Well, we'll just give you the Streamlabs one. Emmy started uh, her streaming journey. She did, in fact, go a lot of the stream without sound. I happened to uh, notice that. But she was so entertaining that you barely even noticed, to be honest. It was, it was fun. <laughs> um, but yeah, Emmy has started uh, her path to affiliate. I finished mine. I got affiliate last week, which was a big surprise. Um, so that's why you'll see some options. There are some new uh, tags for subscribers. There's, I've got some channel points options there. Just a couple new ones that I added. Um, and then obviously there's the cute emotes. I love my emotes. They are such cute. So much cute. Cute, 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 cute. I think I got them all. There's some emotes that I has. They are so cute. There is a link, I think, on my, um, both in my Discord as well as the, um, whatchamacallit, the Twitch page that gives you a list of who the artist is for the emotes that I'm using as well as the sub badges, the little frogs. Um, so if you like them, feel free to support those fabulous artists. I gotta make a command so I can just have them linked in the chat, but they are super cute. So if y'all subbed, enjoy your cute emotes for all of your enjoyment on Twitch. For sure, for sure. All right, so let us pop over to our gameplay screen. And I already see there is no game. <laughs> there it goes. Sometimes it takes a little while, I've noticed, uh, for it to pop up there. It's there, Emmy. We got it. We got it. Yes, so look at the gorgeous uh, layout, uh, or not layout, but uh, logo for Final Fantasy 3. We have been doing so good at our Final Fantasy stream that we're already up to the third game of this series. It is kind of cool, I think. Kind of cool that we have gotten this far. So I did have a gameplay that I did, but we're going to start brand new, fresh for our stream. So I need your help. Yes, I hopefully there is sound, Emmy. I didn't actually check. <laughs> uh, the only version of 3 you've played on is Nintendo DS. This is going to be very different. Yeah, it, it probably is. Um, it's the Pixel Remaster. So there's some quality of life improvements across all the Pixel Remasters that are the same, like inventory management. Um, but some of the more advanced features, like in the Game Boy, if there was options, probably are not going to be included. That's what I discovered uh, during Final Fantasy 1 and 2. Some of the cool extra endgame dungeons that were added as features were not added into these versions. So, we've got to name our little buddies here. If anybody has ideas of some names... I am all about it. Let's see what the suggested names are. Oops. Morgan, Hubert, Riley, and Andy. These are all terrible names. Do they keep giving me more? Yes. Claire, Kylie, Frank. Interesting. Ooh, Emmy thinks that we need Jinx for a caster. Okay, which color do you think our caster should be, Emmy? Uh, Proxy wants the fighter to be named Ron Swanson. <laughs> oh, I mean, graphic-wise, the DS was full of 3D graphics. Ooh, that's cool. All right, I mean, you think our caster should be blue, like a blue mage. So this is going to be Jinx. Got it. Some characters are... Yes, we got Jinx here. And then we've got uh, Ron Swanson. We're going to put Ron Swanson in pink. I think that's a good place for Ron Swanson. Lovely pink. Then we've got to name these guys. Ryan, Morgan, Ray, Ariel. It's interesting. 
Aeneas, Robin, Raiko. It's almost like Rio. Claire, Frank. I like Frank. Frank sounds fun. <laughs> Idan, Lucy, Glitz, Aeneas, Loris, Andy, Riley, Glitz. Looks like it's the same list. Let's go. Ooh, Saren. That sounds fun. I like that. Saren. So we've got Franks, Jinx, Saren, and Ron Swanson for this playthrough. Okay. Are we ready to go? I think I am. Into the silence, one of the Golgans prophesies the great earthquake was only the beginning. The tremors tore the land asunder. The crystals, sources of the world's light, were swallowed into the depths as monsters emerged from the chasm scarring the earth. Yet that was nothing compared to the catastrophe to come. Something fathomless, ominous, and laden with sorrow looms on the horizon, but hope is not yet gone completely. Four souls will be blessed with the power of light, and so it shall soon begin. Whee! Enjoy your lark proxy. Have fun with magic. Poor orphaned youth raised by Topop in the rural village came across a cave, one of the very same that formed when the crystals were lost to the earth. What started as a simple game of exploration became so much more. A little later, go down the hole. Ouch! Looks like we fell through a sinkhole. What do we do now? Are you sure this is a good idea? Maybe we can climb out. Enjoy your luck, Shane. You don't want to go exploring. Don't be such a scaredy cat. Hey, good squab on you two. We need to find a way out of here. Boop, boop. Oh no. We got goblins. Don't really have any options besides the tackle. They slap me. Go, go, go. That battle music is good. What were those monsters doing here? We're in way over our heads. Let's get out as fast as possible. How do you know which which kid is talking? Hmm. Oh. I don't have a guide pulled up, by the way. Not yet. Maybe as we frog the story. But for now, I have a... Uh, huh? What is it? There's something strange about that rock. Now that you mention it. Sus. It just contained a leather shield. Frank for sure needs a leather shield. And then Ron Swanson. Where are you, Ron? There you are. Here's your shield. Oh no, that's it. is delicious. Antarctic wind. More goblins. I think this cave is full of goblins. A potion. Who doesn't love a potion? Another potion. Just over here. 
Ooh, carbuncle. Which one's the- that's the carbuncle? That's not pretty. He ain't cute. Not like carbuncle on 14. That thing is terrifying. Oh look, we got the level 2. Sorry, HPs. That's it, HP went up. Okay. Look, it's a spring. Yeah, but why is it such an odd color? Let's take a sip. Uh, I'm not too sure about this. The party drinks from the wellspring. Wow, I feel revitalized. HP and MP restored, not that I was revived. That's pretty clutch for just starting the game to get a magical uh, water fountain. Carbuckles are supposed to be cute. I know! Unless you've uh, been playing the newest uh, raid tier for 14, then not so much. <laughs> I'm gonna keep punching this stuff for a little bit until I uh, level up. Why not? I've got a fountain right there. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, Plunge, I just noticed you got a lovely Founder's Badge for your sub. That's cool. That's a neat. Let's have Ron Swanson be the head of our party for now. She looks beautiful. These enemies aren't dropping or anything, are they? The wisps are cute, though. Just eye things, though. We got a top. Nobody needs eyes in their mouths. He's gross. Not attractive. Alright, we got to level 3. And their job levels increased. Their job levels? <clears throat> There's jobs in this game? There is. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't level until I have new jobs. Wind crystal. And what's going on? A malicious force attacks the party. Okay. Oh, it's a little turtle. Hey, little turtle. The crystal shines brightly. You four have been chosen. Whoa, that crystal's talking. I give unto you the last of my luck, and with it the last hope of a fading world. As things stand, light will soon disappear, and the balance of the world will be destroyed. Accept the light into your hearts, and the crystals will grant you unimaginable strife. You have been chosen to be the bearers of our final chance at hope. You cannot allow light to fade from the world. The party's enveloped in bright light. Within the light, the will of the crystals surged through them. They decided to accept their destiny. And so began a journey to dispel the darkness and return light to the world. The 
the young heroes received the crystal's power. Oh, hello, freeze-dried snot. Thanks for the follow. Come on in. Give a little welcome to freeze-dried snot. No, I don't think they're here at the moment. And with it, the world's last light of hope. Warrior, monk, white mage, black mage, red mage jobs are now available. Treat. Step upon the magic sigil to be transported to the surface. Embrace your destiny, warriors of light. Ooh, who is this? That's cool. So we got Jod. So many Jod. So Ron Swanson, I believe. Uh, huh. Here because a cat's drinking tea retweet. Oh, thanks, cats, for the retweet. Uh, hello, I'm a vector of change. I'm a cozy queer streamer here, doing our playthrough of every Final Fantasy game. We're currently working on Final Fantasy III. If you're interested, feel free to hang out and check it in. Uh, if you have a nickname that you'd like me to use other than your screen name, Freeze Race Not, I'll let me know. Otherwise, uh, there's that. I use he, they pronouns. If you'd like to share yours with us, uh, there is that cool Chrome extension linked right there. Freeze is good. Cool. All right. Yeah, welcome on in. He, him. Perfect. Thank you for sharing that. So welcome in. Hope you enjoy your stay as long as you're here with us. We're just getting this game started. So, so Ron Swanson, I believe... Was it Proxy who wanted Ron Swanson to be the fighter? Do we want him to be a warrior or a monk? There's two fighter options there. Yeah, yeah, you did. Do you want him to be a warrior right now? Or would you like him to be a monk, Proxy? Warrior. All right. Ron Swanson, the pretty pink warrior. Although he's not pink anymore. Okay. And then... I believe Emmy would like a mage from Jinx. How do I say think of Jinx Monsoon or whatever the drag queen? <laughs> uh, let's have Frank be our white mage. And we will have Saren as a red mage. That is the correct drag name? Alright! Proxy's a big Ron Swanson fan. Ron makes his own weapons. <laughs> Noise. Oh no, they took off their gear. We better go buy some gear. They're naked. <laughs> I thought it was a drag queen name. What season of RuPaul's was that, Emmy? I mean? Urgh. The town of Ur. Why, if it isn't for four rascals, where are you running off to? What's that? Saving the world? Aren't you getting a little old for make believe? Never. The elders wait you inside. It seems that Don sense what befell you all. You always did have a strong connection with the spirit world. Ooh. Uh, Jinx was season five. She was a winner and won RuPaul's Drag Race All Star 7 2 Dead. Good for her. If you want to use an item, select it from the list. Why not use a potion on me to try it out? I don't really want to. By God, that cured my inking back. Thank you, Anastasia. Take this with my regards. To your deco hearts. The wellspring water from the sanctuary can restore the health of those who perceive the light of the crystal, even from the brink of death. Ooh. When the great earthquake hit, the crystal altar sank deep underground. Oh, this world is destined for ruin. King Sassanese castle lies to the west. He rules the region surrounded by the Perenani mountains, including this village. Uh, to the south is the town of Jesus. No one ventures out that far since the great earthquake. Word has that the route is overrun with monsters. What's this little sus guy doing up here? 
You should never leave home without a spell of care. I saw one in the shed deeper in the thicket. Careful though, there are monsters along the path. See that candle furthest to the right? It's actually a switch for a hidden door. Ooh. What's in here? Ooh, treasure, treasure, treasure. Got a long sword, leather armor, a dagger, a cure spell, more armor. So I have to use the spells? Yep. Here you go, Frank. Make sure I put Frank and Jinx in the back rows. Perfect. Is there anything in these pots? Antidote? Antidote? That was cool. Supposedly there's monsters over here. See any monsters? Oh, potion. So this game has items that looks like hidden all over the place, even not even like in a thing. Oh, there's monsters. This is probably not gonna go up without the monsters weapons. I guess Ron Swanson has enough. We're going to take a quick ad break, so this is a great time to refresh your beverage, grab a little snack, or maybe even a blanket if you uh, are a little chilly. It's kind of chilly here, and we will be right back for more Final Fantasy III. Uh, and bang it. Check the show Ron is the weapon. <laughs> all right, all right. I, I respect that, Proxy. I respect that. Emmy says uh, she made brownies. Ooh. Brownies sound yummy. What kind of brownies are they, Emmy? I love some brownies. Brownies are good. Right, let's go talk to this lady over here. See what she has to say. I'm picking flowers. Okay. She not really have anything to say. Got it. 
Ooh, they're double chocolate. Noms. Oh my, you're a tenacious bunch to find me in here. I'll tell you what, I'll give you my secret potion stash. Just check the well. Oh, okay. So there's a lot of little secrets in this game, huh? Potion, potion, potion. So I think, let's see what we have to equip. Two dice. We gotta, we gotta get some gear. <laughs> I don't know if they have any money though, we'll see. All right, so this game, they officially only have um, one shop owner. That was kind of weird in Final Fantasy 2, where they had like three vendors. Could give the Red Mage a bow. Plus 6, plus 90. Do that. Thank you. Back to our red mage. Sounds like a magic shop. What can I do for you? Poison uh, removes poison. Sounds like a good one to have. Give that to Frank. Is there a black magic shop too? Or is that the only one? Here's that the only one. Okay. Alright, let's talk to the Elder, see what the Elder has to say. Yes, the spirits have told me exactly what befell you. Now go speak with Elder Topal. I believe he has some words of wisdom for you. Alright, so that's handy to know. We can revive in here. It's Nina, a motherly figure to the four orphans. Take care on your journey. You know I worry so. It's Homak, one of the town elders. In order to understand the power you've been granted by the crystal, you need to be true to your heart. It's Topapa, the elder who raised the orphans. Topapa, we... I know. I know. To think that you four would be chosen by the light. Frank, Jinx, Surin, and Ron Swanson. You must understand that such a meeting was no mere chance. The crystal willed you it. Such is its power. Your souls have been touched by light. You cannot let the strength you've been granted go to waste. You must depart at once and seal away the powers of darkness. Okay, safe travels. Not really any context there, but sure, we'll travel. Guess we'll just travel. 
this little town right here. Kazus. Eek! Oh, sorry, I thought you might be ghosts too. While traveling from the west, I came upon this accursed town. I'd stay away from the inn if I were you. It's full of g g g ghosts Oh, same dialogue. Okay. Wrap it up, yo. Okay. So they went from churches to fountains in this game in terms of resing. It's an interesting change. There's nobody here. So he says there's ghosts. Oh, there's a little cave. I wonder what's in there. Oh, look! They're like little ghosty people. Only a mithril ring made here in Kazus can contain the Jin's power. That's why the Jin cursed the town. The Jin has been trapped in the sealed cavern since the earthquake, but now he's weakened. Oh, I want to send my beautiful complexion back. The townsfolk made a mithril ring for Princess Sarah of Castle Sasune once. If only we could borrow it. Sid's the name. I'm from Cannon. But a boulder in Nell Valley is blocking my way home. Now I'm stuck here. Figured I'd spend the night at the inn, but then this happened. What's my wife gonna say? Say, want to take my airship for a spin? It's parked under the desert to the west of town. In turn, think you can do something about this here predicament? You learn where to find Sid's airship. It's in the desert to the west. With an airship, you can fly right over lakes. It means you can reach the cavern where the djinn was sealed away. You have to defeat him and lift the curse. Wow, that's pretty straightforward as a quest, I think. I'm assuming these shops are empty. Yep, nothing there. Hey, Saf, your body has arrived. Welcome on in, Saf. How are you? We're just getting started here. Ooh. You actually get to see the bridge of an airship for the first time in this game. Can't climb over the mountains, though. Well, that's the rocky mission. So there's a gin up there. Let's check the castle. The gin's curse turned everyone in the castle into ghosts. It was only spared because I was out on a mission at the time. If we had our missile ring, we'd be able to seal the gin again. Kazus is the only place where they can craft such a ring, but with the curse, how can we hope to find the ring now? Yeah. Is there still treasure though? I want treasure. I'm King Sasune, but as you can see, the Jin's curse has reduced me to this form. Only by defeating him can this curse be listed. Where is the Jin? Does in a sealed cave north of this castle. Thought the ring would be powerless. Where that her highness princess Sarah has one. Oh, how could I have forgotten? People of Kazus once presented Sarah with a missile ring. But I fear she's nowhere to be found. Could she have been abducted by the djinn? Oh no, my poor Sarah! Must rescue princess. This Thropio. We'll seek it out. Oh, such stalwart warriors! When you reach the sealed cavern, you should know there's a secret door. The skeleton is the key. Please, you must defeat the djinn and free my people. I will do my best. Undead hordes roam the caverns. If we cast care on them, it might do serious damage. The White Slayer is in the western tower of Castle Sune. It's a holy sword, bane of the undead. However, only a red mage can wield it. Good thing I've got one. 
Might just be you, but the audio drowns me out. Oh, okay. Yeah, it is a little loud on the dust bowls there. New game, new levels. Drop that down for you. It's about 40 or so. That should do it. How's that sound, Saf? I'm assuming these people don't do anything. Perfecto. All right. Thanks for letting me know. Give me your treasure castle. Where is your treasure? I want it. Eye drops. Antidote. A phoenix down. A bow. Wooden arrow. Oh, I just bought that. What a shame. Do all NPCs look like that, or is this a special area? This is a special area, Saf. We have discovered that a djinn has put a curse on the castle and its inhabitants. And we're trying to uh, defeat the djinn to get everybody back on par with things. Holy Arrow, High Potion, Monsters, oh no, oh no, it's a griffin. Ouch, he killed Saren. I think I'm gonna die y'all. Yep. I was defeated. Okay. So we need to uh, level up. <laughs> Just a wee bit, I think. Yeah, Ron Swanson sure is in this game. Swanson be our strong uh, attack guy, the warrior. Okay, we got some job levels up. Oh look, we're getting stat boosts now. Fantastic. Yeah, we are not ready to take on that little boss. We're just little babies. Oh, I should put Saren in the back since he's using a bow. Treasure, thousand gil, thousand gil, noise. So does it tell you your job experience? It does, well, kinda. Um, how about if I go to status? Hmm. There's general XP, but I don't see job XP. I wonder how you track your job XP. Oh, 
My accuracy rate is not very high, is it? Saf, look at that beautiful carbuncle. Isn't it gorgeous? <laughs> it's so creepy. Alright, our job levels went up to level 3. Bronze bracers. A leather longsword. Nun chaku and leather longsword. No, we want you with a bow. Stop with your nonsense. It is an awful carbuncle, Epi. You're right. Not cute. Cute carbuncles only, please. Four. Thanks for the heals, Crystal. You're awesome. Is there anything in the desert? Monster wise. Ooh. Ooh, those werewolves look familiar. We fought those before in the oh, last game we played. Alright, so they drop a little bit more XP out here. A wild smoochum appears. Ooh. Nope, werewolves in the desert. Frank's job went up to level 4. Treat. So I wonder if there's any strategizing in this game in terms of like cross job training. Because I think in like Final Fantasy V there was a ton of passive abilities from jobs. And so you would get a lot of cool benefits. I don't know if that's in this game. What are these guys? They look kind of spooky. They're tough guys. Are they gonna murder me? Don't kill me. I'm just a baby. Well, keep it here. Attack, attack, attack. Uh, Final Fantasy class systems always scare and confuse you. Oh no! Oh, Smoochum escaped, Emmy. We failed. What did they drop? Look at that. They dropped 80 experience. That's pretty good. Job levels went up to 5. Cool. That was a nice bonus. So from what I can tell, the job levels only change what gear you can wear and what abilities you can use. 
They might do something other than that. I don't know. So while the people are ghosts, let's go stay in their inn for free. Yeah. I don't know if inns only restore HP or if it restores everything. Party is well rested, HP and empty restored. Those paintings are cool. Look at those. I wonder if those are part of the original game or added to this game. They're really cool. Alright. Let's try and defeat this uh, thing again. See how we do this time. We're a little more savvy since we know it just raked the floor with our corpses. Fran Swanson has 69 HP. Nice. All right, I didn't die instantly. Killed it. Frank's job is level five. Beautiful. All right, we got the White Slayer. So that's good against undeads, but can only be used by, I believe, our Red Mage. So we're gonna give you that and a shield. Give you... Do I want a shield? Yeah. You need a shield. You get no arms, though. Cut. Can you use a bow? No. Didn't think so. Can you? You could use a bow. We're gonna give you the bow with the holy arrow. That sounds good. Hey, Dark Meow. How's you feeling? Welcome on in. It's ya boy. So many goblins. You're alive? Alright. Well, I prefer you alive, so that will do. More potions. Ooh, cursed cop coppers and larva. How cute. Ooh, putting me to sleep, not cute. Alright, so getting hit actually uh, wakes you up in this game. That was bizarre in the last game we played. Oh. game is not uh, not easy so far. It's pretty tough. Have a phoenix down? I do. Ron Swanson face down. Not doing good, Ron Swanson. Get your butt up. Oh, 
Oh, he got kicked again. Wow, 555 XP? Holy cow. Everybody but Ron Swanson got XP. Oops. Oops. <laughs> oh no! Everybody's dying. Y'all, this game is a cluster already. It's great. <laughs> Everybody's alive. We're, we're good. Poor Ron Swanson. Oops. Didn't mean to go back in town. So we're just going to stay up here. Try to level a little bit. Because I am weak sauce. blind. Remove silence, remove blindness. Yeah, we need to stock up on items. We're gonna survive this. I just don't have any abilities. Oops. Did I miss my ad? I missed my ad break, y'all. I missed the bit it. Y'all are on a break. Okay. So we'll do... I think it's just gonna do its own thing. no item shop. Never mind. There literally isn't one. Alright. My bad, my bad, my bad. Can't believe I missed the ad thing. Oh, I saw it. But I missed it. Is y'all back from your ad? I don't know. Maybe. I like this backwards thing, it's weird. Hmm. 
It looks like there's some decent uh, XP here. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Yeah, I don't think I have anything to help our friend there. He's permanently blind for now. Six to nine, nice. So it looks like we really desperately need to level up here. <laughs> So they're starting to, to get a little bit of power. Punch, 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 punch. Kick. Okay. Got some job levels. I honestly don't know what job levels do. I don't know if that impacts their individual stat bonuses. I have no idea. Oh, did I move him to the front row? Looks like he's maybe in the back? That's hard to tell. And I've got Frank in the back. Yeah, we need to move you back to the front. Because you've got a sword on now. Everyone's level 8. We've actually got some HP now. That looks good. Wish I was getting more spells though. That would be nice. Spells would be nice, please. Guess we have to beat up the gym before we're gonna really get anything else. It's kind of cool, honestly, in this game, how you get started and you meet Sid and he's like, here, take my airship. Oh, you can't really go anywhere with it, though. <laughs> it's a little mean. It's a little mean. Oh, well. Beat up zombies. Come on, Ron Swanson, take it out. Honestly, I think my Black Mage with a bow is doing better. Jinx Monsoon has got this. Oh, back attack. I don't like back attack. Nobody caught the Salandit. That's an interesting Pokemon name. Salandit. Scoozy. Scoozy. You go, Jinx. You are good at your bow. Oh, so the 300 experience is split evenly across the party? Is that right? Not 300 per character? 
Let me see. Okay. I thought it was everybody, but it's literally split. Okay. Alright, I'd like to get us all to level 10 before we try to go after the djinn. I'm so glad I don't have to worry about leveling my magic like in Final Fantasy 2. <laughs> it was so brutal. It was so painful. This is a lot more streamlined than Final Fantasy 2 so far. You can't blind the blind, friends. Those are not the work that way. Ooh, Smart Saber Achievement Unlocked. wonder what that is. FF2 had second game syndrome. <laughs> it sure did, Sav. It was a bit anticlimactic, the ending. I guess that's why some of the later games got so dramatic. Like 6 with uh, Kafka in the ha second half of the game. His final form is just this giant tower monstrosity. Alright, we're at level 10, and then we've got to catch up poor Ron Swanson, who was eating dirt. Ooh, Dark Meow! You got the little blushy emote. Cute. <laughs> Games take themselves too seriously. Yeah, some do. Final Fantasy is a pretty super serial series. All right, everybody's level 10. We should do better in this dungeon now. But I want to heal my status effects. Looks like the only place to do that is in here. Oops. With the crystal. New emote, baby! Yes! Love it! Super cute. Did you redeem it with channel points? Is that how that happens? I don't even know. Oh, there's a chest right here I missed. A sleep. I wonder why it didn't give me a notification that you did that. That's cool, though. Because I've got notifications on who clicked first and who clicked second, but I didn't see one. So it must be that one just doesn't show up on my feed. Um, since y'all are here... I want to give a quick shout out to our friend Plunge. Now that it's going to let me do the thing. There it goes. So Plunge is a good friend of mine, IRL, and an awesome retro game streamer. So if you have not followed Plunge, feel free to do so. It's cool people, cool people. That one showed up, Emmy, that you're here just lurking. 
must just be the emotes because they're built into Twitch. And it doesn't tell me. I'm assuming all the custom ones will then. But I do see that I'm here just lurking one. If you actually are lurking, enjoy your lurk. <laughs> oh, most welcome fun. Anytime. I know I did one earlier, but now that there's a few more people, I figured I'd do another one to do it proper, other than when the stream isn't even started. <laughs> Crystal, heal me! Thank you. Alright, now we've got level 10. Yes, we could go to the store see if there's anything else we're missing in here did i go in this inn at all oh there's the item shop sweet got some items Is there any dialogue in here Heading on a journey? Well, you should rest up first. Don't worry about payment tonight's on us. That's so nice. Found a potion. Wait, don't tell me. I bet I can guess your specialties. Hang on. White mage, black mage, red mage, and warrior. How'd I do? Z, 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 z. Z, 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 z. What's this old man doing in this room with these poor people sleeping? I want to know. I have questions. Hey, you look like you can play the piano. Give us a tune. A big old boulder is shit book in the valley. Can't get back to cannon. Nothing left but to drink my worries. Hick. Can I talk to you? No? No? Season driver always keeps a few antidotes and eye drops on hand. Ooh, I'm a dancer, can't you tell? You want to see me dance? Yeah. The origins of the dancer class from Final Fantasy III, evidently. Play the piano. How'd you like my routine? Nope, nobody liked it. Sorry, buddy. Sorry, Jinx. No one likes your routine. Ah, oh, well. I'm assuming we'll get better as we continue the game. Oh, I did want to go double check. I've gotten all the weapons and armor that I can get. I think I did, but... Yeah, I don't think there's anything else I can get there. Saf, I see you got the little happy face kitty cat emote. Very cute. It's adorable. Okay, we're going to try this again. Oh, I already got that. First Coppus. Apparently money makes you sleepy. Ooh, another cure. Yes. <gasps> Give that to the red mage. Are you my mommy? Poison.
Punch. Punch. Nice. So that does persist after battle. Okay. Good to know. Um, oh yeah, they said the secret door was the skeleton head. That's right. Secret tunnel. I am Sara, Princess of Sassoon. Your Highness, what are you doing here? I am here to save my subjects, but I fear I cannot find a clear path through the monsters. Thankfully, my Mithra ring spared me from the Jinn's curse. Nevertheless, these caves are dangerous, Your Highness. You should return to the castle. I will not. I'll forge ahead alone if I have to. Love her outfit. That is cute as heck. Your Highness, won't you reconsider? Please, take me with you. You cannot seal away the djinn without my mithril ring. Then I suppose we must. Sarah, join the party. Ooh, so there's guest characters too in this game. Oh, that's right. If you wish to talk to me, press the L button. Don't hesitate to ask anything. Now let's be off. I hit the L button. Nothing happened. How about the Z button? Looks like the Z button was the correct one. I am Sarah and you are. I'm Frank. A pleasure. I could only go f so far alone before I reached my limit. It is most fortunate that you came along. I'm in your debt. How many Princess Sarahs are there in the series? I don't know, Inquisitor. That would be a excellent trivia question. I have no clue. Does anyone else know how many there are? No? Nobody know? I don't know. More than one. Uh, at least three if you count FF1, Sarah, and Stranger Paradise Sarah as different characters. Okay. Y'all, our boss is right here. First boss of the game. It's the Jin. Stand back. I will use my ring to banish him. Jin's looking pretty thick. Whoa, ha, 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 ha. you think that silly trinket will stop me now? I've joined forces with the darkness, and together, we are unstoppable. The Jin attacked. Look at his beard. <laughs> oh my god, he's so cute! He's adorable. <laughs> Ron Swanson, you got this, buddy, right? Kill this jerk. <laughs> ha! I will try my hardest. He's a cutie, though. Couldn't go single stream without getting out of mode. <laughs> no, no, I don't think you can, Seth. It's okay, we love you anyway. Oh. 
All right, the Dijin is down. We did the thing. Now, Sarah, while the Jin is weakened, use your ring. Sarah raised the ring up high. Like a Pokemon. The Jin dispersed like mist. The ring's power sealed him deep within the cavern once again. Thank you so much. I've never been able to seal away the Jin without your help. All that remains is to cast this ring into the wellspring in Castle Sassoon, and the Jin's curse will be lifted. For now, I'll use the ring's power to warp us back to the castle. Ooh, that's some magic. Something tells me you overleveled a bit. Okay, a little bit, but I was also underleveled earlier and I died. <laughs> so, <laughs> she threw the well in the wellspring. Threw the ring in the wellspring. There, now the Jin's curse should be broken. We wouldn't be here without you all. Thank you. I suppose we must part ways. I have duty to my father and my people after all. Would that I could travel with you, but I'd only be in your way. Sarah, come back when you finish the journey. I'll be waiting for you for as long as it takes. We swear to return. Sarah left the party. Okay. Bye, girl. Thank you, brave warriors. You have sealed away the djinn and saved my princess Sarah. I owe you a debt of gratitude. Take this. I trust it will aid you on your quest. Received a coming. Not sure what we need a canoe for, but thanks. Thank you, warriors of light. May you rest here as long as you wish. Sarah would appreciate spending more time with you. Lady, I had known you for all five minutes. Calm down. Yeah. Somewhere in the castle is a secret passage to the treasure hall. White Slayers in the Western Tower. Got that. Thank you. Thank you. Where's the secret passage? I want a secret passage. Is that over here? Oh, there it is. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Money, money. Oh, here's the well. A blizzard and another leather shield. All right, let's give blizzard to Jinx. Now Jinx has a spear that she can use. Ooh. Ooh. Chest contained Tonfa. Ooh, I can't use that. Okay. Look at those statues, though. Those are really cool. Little jaguars. So, apparently secret passages are in flags. up here? No? Okay. Thank you, Warriors of Light. You're welcome. Look, all these people. Thank you. You are truly heroes. We sure are. The princess has missed you. Her room is at the top of the tower to the right. This is- that's sus. She just met us. She doesn't even know us. We're strangers. She wants us to come to her room? I'm concerned for Princess Sarah. Princess Sarah has been asking for every chance she gets. She talks of nothing else. Why? She doesn't get out much. <laughs> I have to stay here with Father. I would that I could travel with you, but I'd only be in your way. Your Highness, come back when you finish the journey. I'll be waiting. Okay, so that... Taught me nothing. Cool. 
So it looked like it was supposed to be a quest lead-in that did not give us anything. Very well. So that town should have all the villagers awakened then. Oh, my airship. My airship. I have a feeling Sid's going to take it back as soon as I go see him. Alright, I will take another quick ad break. I ad break. I will be back in just a few. So just a gentle reminder to stretch your body, uh, refresh your drink, maybe grab a little snack if uh, you feel that like that would be helpful to continue to enjoy our stream. I will be right back in about 90 seconds or so. All right, welcome back, y'all. How was your ad break? Did you uh, have anything cool? <laughs> was it the silly Papa John's ad? All right, so this guy... He didn't leave anything behind, did he? No. Oh, there's... Oh, look at Sid. He's a little goblin man. <laughs> well done. I knew you could pull it off. Bet you're glad you had my airship, huh? I'm just happy it was used for a good cause. Mind if I ask another favor? Can you get me back to the missus in canon? She's, uh, please, she's been waiting a mighty long time. Sid joined the party. Ooh, so we've got a buddy. He's our buddy. Sid's the name. Maybe you've heard of me. I'm an expert airship craftsman, I'll have you know. Thanks to you, I'm back to normal again. Fid is a fiddle. The only way through the Parmeni mountain range is now valley, but it's blocked by a huge rock. Okay. Don't worry, he's just as hot as in 14 under that hat. <laughs> I had a feeling, Saf, you might be a, a, a Sid Simp. My cousin is a Sid Simp. I love Sid in 14. He's so cute. Kazus made its fortune off its mine. Artisans from the town made weapons and armor out of mithril. The only way through Parmeni Mountain Ray. Oh, I talked to you already. Taka's the finest black man around, who lives by himself in this very house. This here is the entrance to the mithril mine. Straight is around, but Sid is a man you can sim for. <laughs> been thinking about that bowler that's blocking the way to cannon. I reckon if my airship had a mithril prow, we could just burst through. Say no more. I'll get you one ready in a jiffy. All done. No need to thank me. You saved town, after all. 
This is to show our appreciation. Yeah, take care out there. Taka fixed a mithril prow to the airship. Let's give that bothersome boulder a good old fashioned whooping. Oh my. Do is proud. Is there another dancy dancer in this inn? Thank you, and myself again. There's a hidden passage in the mine that'll take you to the deepest tunnels. To find it, go as far as you can, take three steps from the left-hand side, and look closely at the wall. Alright. Uh, any new items I can buy? Nope. Buy some of those, though. Why not? Doesn't hurt to have extra items. Oh, my healthy glow is back. It's all thanks to you, huh? Good rest. We're just gonna steal this bed for the evening. Wonder if there's anything in the mine I'm supposed to go get. Why is this kid in a bar? That's odd. This it's not a kid. Looks like a kid to me. Ooh, magic! Fire, blizzard, and sleep I already have. Two fires, then. I hear a thing! I think that is a follow thing. Big Al 3366 is not following. Thanks, Big Al, for the uh, follow there. Welcome on in. Oops. Welcome. How is your day, Big Al? Do you have a, a nickname that you prefer other than your uh, screen name there? Uh, feel free to share that. My name is Anthony. I am a vector change, also known as Augustine. I'm trying to get my welcome message to you. Uh, just a little bit of a cozy variety quiz streamer here. Yes, we are playing Final Fantasy III. Um, we've already finished the first two, so this is actually three. I can't remember when this game came out, but the other two were the 80s, so I'm assuming this is either 89 or 90. So feel free to introduce yourself if you'd like, so we can get to know you a little bit. If you want to share your pronouns, that's cool. If not, uh, feel free to just hang out with us. So we've got some magic. Let's give... You've already got a blizzard. Sure, you need a blizzard. Oops. Fire. Fire. I got magic. They do. Perfect, perfect. Just got done with Destiny, about to head to bed. All right. Well, thank you for dropping in and uh, popping a follow. Appreciate that, buddy. Uh, before me, done been born. <laughs> yes, we know, Saf, you are a Zoomer. That's okay. We stand our Zoomers. Mithril Rod, Mithril Sword. Oh, we need a sword. Oh, mine Junior escaped. I missed that in all the hubbub. That would have been a cool Pokemon. So we need a rod for our white mage. And do I want a mithril knife? I'll buy one. I don't know if I'll use it. Can you, can you have a shield? But No, but you can have two staves. Okay. Okay. Have a good night. Haven't played this in forever. Thank you, Big Al. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I am doing my best to have fun. We're just stocking up on some neat items. Um, I think I'm gonna keep the bow there. We're at the very end of Millennial. Ah, okay. Do you, what is uh, what is considered the end of Millennial these days? Is it like 96, 97? Uh, 
Uh, Mithril Shield. Let's get two of those. Two of those. Two of those. Um, two of those. Two of those. Uh, 2,000. Okay. 99. Yeah, you're right there. Mithril gloves, armor, mithril bracers, mithril helm. No, we want, we want a shield. Shield. Chub chub and cap. Perfect, perfect. Okay, so we got some gear. We should uh, we should check out this mine. Mummies and skeletons. Are they spooky? I already not like in the darkness or the blindness. Ooh, gotta level up though. down here. Oh wow, Frankie. Good job. She hit pretty good. A mithril sword. You know, I just bought that, didn't I? <laughs> oh well, we can sell it for Gil later if we need to. More curse coffers. Eat up them baddies. Punch. Cut. Punch. All right. Let us uh, rest back up. Huh? Excuse me, coming through. She doesn't even care if I just stay in her inn. She's just like chilling. Well, that's awesome. We got a little bit of magic now. It's exciting. So I wonder if each crystal gives you, um, uh, different jobs. I would guess it does. I feel like there's gotta be a... Can you go... Nope. Never mind. I thought there might have been a path to go up there. Um... Airship? Bam! Did you bust the ship? Oh no, we did! <laughs> Sid, what are we gonna do? Might have overdone it. Y'all have nerves of steel. Oh no. So we've got to find his little village of Canaan. Is it the village right down there, I'm guessing? Must be right here. Bugbears! Those are D&D &D monsters.
All right, we made reach cannon. Perfect. Thanks for all your help. If there's anything I can do for you, let me know. Come to think of it, if I put together another airship, I bet you could put it through its paces. We'll need to make a few design improvements, and no one knows more about that stuff than King Argus. You should go see him. Anyway, thanks again. Come back to visit. Sid left the party. Saf is a baby. <laughs> oh no, Saf. You're not a baby. I hear that long ago, a traveling mage hidden some medicinal herbs in town. As for the wares and wherefores, who knows? Never been myself. Never been myself, but they say there's a gnome village in the forest to the south. Oh, is this the game where you have to get minis? I think it is. Great bow and an iron arrow for our black mage. Goo goo mama. <laughs> well, I'm a dancer. Let's see you dance. I'm so glad they added dancers to 14. They're such a cool class. All right, cure. Need one of those. Two of those. One of those. One of those. Oh. Apparently he already knows that spell. Thunder. Thunder. Poison. Blind. Okay, he already has it. No worries. Stacking up on magic. Arrow is a white magic spell that lets you manipulate wind to damage your enemies. Flying monsters hate it. So where are these hidden herbs? Gotta be around town somewhere. Must be in the water. A traveler named Dash wandered into town recently, didn't stick around, not sure where he was headed. Oh my god, they're going to charge me to stay at an inn, finally. I hate it. I'm out of money. <laughs> oh no. That's okay. It's good to spend our, our stuff. First, that scoundrel dash turns my Selena's head. Then he ups and leaves town. Said he found something in a hurry. My Selena is always such a sweet girl. Now she cries herself to sleep at night. Found Mallet. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, Dash, I'm so lonely here without you. We traveled south to Dragon's Peak by the Dragon's Roost. I miss you so. Hey, Kai. How's it going? Thanks again, Kai, for the sub. Appreciate that. That's how normal people talk. You know normal people? If you use the mini spell, you turn into gnome-sized versions. Sold my last to you, my name Dash. Ooh, that jerk. You better give us that spell. Come good about you. I'm doing good. I'm trying to figure out how ads work on Twitch. I failed at least one pre-roll so far. 
But uh, we're, we're learning. We's learning. We's learning. Uh, Saf doesn't know any normal people. <laughs> Poor Saf. No normal people in your life. Oh, you do know plenty of normals. Good. Oh, that's revival. Where's Sid's house? Must be this one. And his wife. Ooh, she looks sick. I'm glad you stopped by. You see, my wife fell ill while I was away. Come on, honey. You'll pull through. Oh, if only I had an elixir. Cough, cough. Girl, I don't have an elixir. I can give you a leather shield. Guess you better get an elixir for Sid's wife. Is there anything over here? It's a cute little book. There's nothing in it, though. So let's see, can I go? Oh, I can go in the water. Okay. So there was a hint that there's a bunch of herbs somewhere in town. Maybe down here? Oh, I found an elixir. That's exactly what I need. Wait for her to kick it and then just use a phoenix down. <laughs> nah, we'll give her an elixir. Let's not uh, let her die. That wouldn't be very warrior of light of me if I just let her die. Girl, I got you. I got what you need. It is right down here. Well, but the spring right in her step. Heavens above, I'm cured. Thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Mrs. Sid is her name. Went out of your way to help my husband and me. I can't thank you enough. Looks like I owe you one again. Does that mean I owe you two? Hmm, I know. Give this candle behind me a jiggle. It'll open way to the hangar where I used to park the old airship. Help yourselves to anything you find down there. Uh, you said the wrong thing. No normal people know Saf. Oh dear. Shots fired. Ooh, what's down here? Blind, Phoenix down, a golden needle. Gnomish bread. Great bow. Is that what I gave Jinx? Yeah. Wipe the needles, phoenix downs, high potions. Sweet. I will take treasure all day. Love treasure. I know the normals. What is normal? What does that mean? So that's canon. So I guess we should probably head into this place. Look for some dragons. Like that guy. He looks cool. Dragon's Peak. Oh, did I? Level 2 inflicts blind. Yeah. Helldivers. Oh, I should probably give him a different sword, huh? Oh, group hydrate. Thank you, Emmy. Everybody, uh, grab your beverage. Let's have a group hydrate. Don't want to forget to keep that going. A healthy body is a healthy mind. What was I going to do? Forgot what I was doing. I mean, I got distracted. Oh. 
wanted to give him a different weapon. Well, maybe not. Actually, the weapon of that's better. Thank you for the sustenance, Abby. <laughs> That's sustenance Biguchi. You know, with all these golden needles, I have a feeling I'm gonna run into something that petrifies me. Mage spell. We're gonna make sure Frankie has that spell. That's kind of neat that they were like black magic and white magic are both important. Use both. Though. Let's find out. Six hits. Wow. Very powerful. Indeed. Good job, Frankie. It's kind of cool. So they went back in this game to like spell slots like in Final Fantasy 1. Much prefer that over we had in two. Uh-oh. Oh no, look at the babies. <laughs> Rock. They're so cute. Rock. Rock. What's that? Russell. Whoa, wow, well, that you guys get up here. Wait, don't tell me you got captured by the dragon too, did you? Ha, huh, losers. That's rich coming from the dragon's next meal. Touche, I guess you're right. Ha <laughs> ha, my name is Dish. I'm Frankie. Gotta be up front with y'all. I've got amnesia. Can't remember a thing except my own name. I know I came up here for a reason. I just don't remember what it is. Uh-oh. The dragon's back. Hide. The dragon attacks from the sky. We don't have a chance against it. We gotta run. Run. Run for your lives. Oh, dear. Ba That's not a dragon. That's Bahamut. <laughs> Am I supposed to run? Guess we'll run. Um. Ouch. I was close. Come on, let's get out of here. Agreed. Here, you can have this. It's a spell called Mini. I don't think I've got the magic know how to use it anyway. In exchange, mind if I tag along on your journey? Sure, if that's what you want to do. Good, then it's settled. Glad to know y'all. Received Vinny from Dish. He joined the party. He's so young. How do you know how old this character is? He's a adventurer. <laughs> you can make so many sweater vests with those. Oh dear. Of the dragons? Saf, why would you kill dragons? <laughs> Were you talking about the golden needles? Hopefully you're talking about the golden needles. <laughs> I don't want to have to vest me on dragons. We can jump down now, Geronimo! Yes, the needles. Okay. Young enough to be dating that one lady's daughter. How did we jump to there? That made no sense. Okay. <laughs> Somehow we magically just jumped all the way over there. Okay. Alright, Frankie... Oh look, Frankie's still alive. I thought Frankie died in that battle. Okay. Okay. 
healing cups. I'm a gnome from the Toza Forest of the South, here to draw water from this magic well spring. You're welcome to pay us a visit, but you'll need to cast many on your sails first. We can't have big folks smashing up the place. He's cute. Boosting off powerful ankles. Okay. Good. Lollification. Yes. We're going to be lollified. We got to become babies. Um, we gotta give Frankie the mini spell. Yep. Look at the babies! We're babies. Not a familiar face among a lot of you. There's a tunnel that runs through the Moranos Range. You can use it to get to the Morocco Basin, home of the Vikings. It's Minish Cap now, essentially. Found Kira. Fire Staff, what? A vest? Sorry, bro, I'm just robbing you blind. So what does the cast fire when used in battle? Okay. Frankie, you need that. They are so small. <laughs> They're the babies. Urgh, I need an antidote. Here you go. That into spot. Something I really didn't agree with me. You saved my life. In return, I'll tell you about the shortcut to Morocco Basin. Just take the stairs over here, they lead straight to the secret tunnel. Alright, we learned a shortcut. Okay, I'm not we're done exploring town though. Just speak in your regular voice. Why? Does it offend you? Does it offend you, Kite, when I use a voice? Gnomish bread has magical properties. Oh. They're so small. Nyx, female character, do your best impersonation of Kite. <laughs> oh. My best impression of Kite? I don't know if I can, uh, if I can do that. That would probably be offensive. Gnomish bread? Do your best impression of me. I don't know if I want to do impressions. Now I'm feeling pressured. The living woods are something somewhere out in the world. I hear the fairies that live there are the cutest things. You smell funny. Oh, I did it! Look, I did it! Look, Saf, you smell funny. That that sounds like something that would come right out of your face. <laughs> For sure, for sure. Oh, we got magic. Can't really afford any of that magic, but cool. True. <laughs> Alright, I think I've talked to everybody. It's like I only have to go through the tunnel here. All you have to do is put on a deeper tone with an inflection like you just let it out a fart and are waiting for everyone to smell it. Wow. Very descriptive. <laughs> I better be hearing this next time we, uh, we're in voice chat, Saf. I want to hear what these inflections sound like. A mithril rod, mithril bracers. Oh. Hmm. 
We're just little babies. Even the music has changed, did you notice? It's like little baby music. The victory music is baby music. That's adorable. Those were leprechauns, evidently, Seth. Okay, we made it out. So, let's get big again. Yes, those were leprechauns. They're called gnomes in this game. And there is gnomes in Final Fantasy 1, too. I don't remember any gnomes in 2. Alright, Vikings Cove. Is there a door there? No. We found 300 kill. Little pirates. Just rest in my eyes. Is this a brothel? If brothels have pirates, I guess. We're Vikings, pillagers of the open sea. Or what we used to be. A wily old sea dragon swallowed, showed up after the earthquake and wrecked all our ships. All but one, the Enterprise, was spared. But we can't set sail with that monster still out there. The grog is the only thing holding me together. The Viking ain't a Viking unless he's sailing the ocean waves. That building on the Cape is Nepto Temple. Pops ought to know more about it. Ask him. The boss ain't got a clue how to handle the sea dragon. How's a Viking supposed to fight a monster like that? Oh, pirates, you saw the smoke and beds. Well, there's only one bed. Love this one. Played it on DS a long time ago. Oh, yeah, I think um, Shane was here earlier and said that he had played it on the uh, DS as well. You're right, Agonthony. Me just dumb. Why are you dumb? Ooh. Any... Poison. Blind. I guess that's the same stuff as I just saw. Are you still on Phoenix Downs yet? Removes Toad. That's probably a good thing to have. And I don't think I need a rest yet. I'm good there. Because I see brothels where there are none. You have problems with that. Problems or are you just an opportunist? I wasn't hiding, no. I was just waiting for pops. That's all. Ah, sure as you're born. I'm the oldest Viking here. I know more than most about the Nepto Dragon. That vicious beast is meant to sleep in its temple for eternity. But ever since that great earthquake, something's roused the dragon from its slumber. Now it ravages any ship that sails the seas. It's a lot of beauty down here. Q 
KO Dally's revived. Uh, all you know is you made a bunch of people, met a people. You made a pe bunch of people, Long John Silver's last week, very uncomfortable. Oh. I did say booty. They're Vikings and pirates. Of course they said booty. I'm robbing of them of the booty. Thundara, Fira, Lazara. Word. Look at that. Won't be able to really use those spells, but good to have them. You're too short. Too short and too smart to be a himbo. How unfortunate, uh, I believe in you. If you want to be a himbo, you can be. I ain't bored in the Enterprise, even if it's Siva. That sea dragon won't just come right after us. I've tried everything, but I just can't win against that sea dragon. If you get rid of that monster, I'll give you anything. I'd even give you the Enterprise. We got a deal? Looking for the boss? That's him over there. He's become a total layabout. I wouldn't get on that boat right now if I were you. Everyone who sails along the coast gets attacked by the sea dragon. It must be the legendary Nepto dragon from the temple. There's no other explanation. Can't sleep. Okay. Ooh, cannonball. Let's do a uh, quick save. All right, we've got a dragon. Leviathan's special cousin. I don't know if I'm going to be able to kill the dragon. Um, Phoenix down. I don't think I'm going to be able to take this thing. Let it kill me. Murdered. Saf, so much for your theory of being overpowered, huh? <laughs> so we are not ready for that, but we can probably go in this temple. Probably has a gimmick to kill it. You're right. It probably does. But Kite yells at me if I cheat and look at a guide, so I don't have one up right now. One of its eyes missing seems to be a tiny passage where the eye used to be. Oh. Okay. I'll play. Party enters through the eye socket. We're little babies. Only Lalafell can come to this temple. Uh-oh. Um... Oh, I have my fire staff. Who's Kite? <laughs> Kit W. Who's Kit W? <laughs> Don't make fun of my teepees. Like this. Like this. Look at them. They're called petites. They're real babies.
All right, Ron Swanson leveled up to level 12. Catching up to the rest of us. Ooh, there's two holes. Which hole should I fall in? Let's fall in this one. Okay, got a chest. A serpent sword. Infused with the power of lightning. Give it to you. Look at my typus in awe or despair. I care not which. Alright. Going to another fire staff. Thunder. Thunder and attack. <laughs> One damage. Ooh. That was a death. All right. I'm so weak as a lala. fitting. <laughs> Might as well use these potions since I bought them, huh? I doubt I have ethers, so. though. Nope. That looks like a boss. How to get a magic spell back. Do I have another mini spell? No. Cure and blind. Okay. It's gonna be an interesting boss battle. It's a giant rat. No, no gem for you. I'll nibble anyone who tries to take it. Squeak! Okay. Fire style. For the thunder. Pandara. And let's have you put that there. Fire stuff. Fire. Thunder. Good time. Fire staff, magic, wizard, magic, fire, items, potion. <laughs> oh, thank goodness I missed. Oh, but I missed for me too. Rude. 
Uh, we'll continue that. Fire. Fire. How many items I can use? An Antarctic wind. This is a tough one away. Okay, we killed the giant rat. Thank goodness. <laughs> Bring out his bell slots. Nice. We obtained the Nepto Eye. But how do we get out? Ambushed. Don't kill me. Please don't kill me. I should have healed. Flee. 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 Phew! Narrowly escaped. Frankie, cure us, please. Ron Swanson. What was down here? Oh, just treasure. A shell helm. We want to run. 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 It's got bad. Thank you. Shell armor. Okay, so it's just armor and helmet. Uh, Ron Swanson. Can wear all of those things. The Pusian, cute. Party put the missing eye in the empty socket. It is I, and after the sea dragon, thank you for returning my eye. It is no ordinary gem. It is the vessel for my soul. Without it, my physical manifestation cannot be controlled. By way of thanks, I bequeath to you the Fang of Water. Use its power to destroy those obstacles that may block your path. Receive the Fang of Water. Water has lost that which once shimmered within. That which caused the great earthquake also trapped the light of the elements deep within the earth. I beseech you, please, restore our light. The Neptune Dragon resumed its slumber. Oh, I don't want to go in there. Just kidding. Okay, that's cool. You can still go back in. Do I have, like, a... tent? A way to... I have one mallet. I have no way to turn back from babies. I haven't seen her, babe. That sounds nice. I guess we're gonna head back to 
the little baby town. So I think there's an inn somewhere in there. Group hydrate, thanks, Emmy. Thank you so much, everybody. Get a little drinky poo. Gotta do that self care. Absolutely. Could not agree more. Is there an inn down here? That's my question. I don't even remember. I would think there would be. Yes. Got my spells back. Beautiful. So that's... <laughs> Actually, not a bad idea to stock up on that magic for the other characters should I change their jobs. Fire Blizzard. Give it to Ron Swanson. Okay. Now I think we can go get our boat. Demon fish. There's those leprechauns. Sap loves leprechauns. Is that why he likes them so much? Oh no. <laughs> Oh, pick on poor Thal. <laughs> All right, no longer babies. You've interacted with Thal like twice. Thal is tough, rough being a ginger, and a Lala and a Floridian. Thal's just got all sorts of identities, huh? Are these guys happy? You got guts, I'll tell you that. Thanks. Now I can get some real shut eye. He identifies as Florida. <laughs> Alright, so now I've got more than one mini spell. That's where I made my mistake. I should have bought that earlier. His pronouns are get er done. <laughs> nice. Boop, boop. 
that's the boss down here. Color me impressed. So brave, so strong. You are a lot, lot or a bona fide heroes. A Viking's word is his honor. The Enterprise is yours. Oh my word, you really are the bee's knees. Why you gotta be mean to me, Faye? Speaking of Thel... <laughs> Kite's a snitch. <laughs> yeah, leave poor, poor Thel alone. He's been through enough. <laughs> oh, Thel, thank you so much for the subscription. I hope uh, you enjoy your emotes and um, things like that. I really appreciate you, my friend. Always helps. Never a, never a requirement, but thank you. Thank you, Thel, for the subscription. Appreciate you. And it looks like Thel subscribed with Twitch Prime, which if you have an Amazon uh, account, I believe it's a free option that comes with your account. You can give out one sub a month so you can support your favorite streamer with a free sub, which I think is pretty cool. Look at that emote! Yes! Big hype! We love emotes. They are so cute. Giving a big old glomp. You can sub for free with Amazon Prime. He forgot until he went to sub. <laughs> oh. I missed the pre-roll. Okay. I'll be right back. Ads are playing. Sorrow. Yeah, be right back. Okay, I'm back. Defend us, Florida man. <laughs> you summon Florida man. <laughs> yes, but you, Thal, are a different sort of Florida man. You are not the Florida man that shows up in the news articles. <laughs> well, we got a boat. Ooh, killer fish. They are not pretty. They're rude. Level up. Level 13. So we've got a whole ocean open to us. There's a village down here, it looks like. Beauties in the eyes of the bee holder. <laughs> indeed. Saf, indeed. So true. Your face is a beholder, Saf. <laughs> What's this town about? Oh, only too cool. Cool. Only 24% corn. You can do better than that, Emmy. Not oh, 48% uh, vibing with corn. Sweet. 39. All right, that's a little better. 
79 hype cool i feel like i added did i add a new command i think i did what was it i don't remember bot spam oh fell by the way if you're not in my discord uh here is a link Feel free to join anybody who's on the stream and wants to participate in the Cozy Frog Pond Discord. There is a link right there for y'all. You killed Thal? Oh dear. That's not nice. Don't kill people. We don't like that. Um. Oh, I added chaotic. That's what I added. I think that's the only real new one that's a, just a little fun one. And I did add biscuits with an S, just in case. Ooh, I'm 50% chaotic. I'm right in the middle there. <laughs> You're the ghost of Florida Ginger Man. He'll just revive as a new person, like the doctor. <laughs> The doctor does do that. Oh, Thel, I don't believe that. Only 7% chaotic today? That doesn't sound right. I would agree with you. The new Doctor special is coming out. Oh, Emmy, I'm so behind on Doctor Who. The last Doctor I remembered watching was Peter Capaldi, and that's probably like three Doctors ago now at this point. I need to, to catch up. <laughs> Oh, Mimikyu! Mimikyu's cute! Jody Whittaker is his, was his replacement? Yeah. And it's her last season. Yeah, I need to catch up. What are these guys doing? They're like... making out or something. What's happening here? Please spare me. Ah, oh, mercy, there's nothing here of value, I swear. Okay. One of the soldiers dropped this banner after they attacked our village. It bears the crest of Argus. I think Argus? That can't be right. I think we're buddies with Argus, I guess. This town is trashed. You cried at the Cabaldi special, The Husbands of River Song? Yeah. They're uh, still on 14. Okay. You just went in that fireplace. Is there a secret passage? Oh, there is. Hey, buddy. Please spare the child. Oh, you're not with the soldiers. My apologies. I assume those brutes were back to finish what they started. They took my husband captive and headed west into the desert. They bore the crest of King Argus. I pray my husband is unharmed. Please, let him still be alive. Okay. Yes, Emmy, we did it! We caught the Mimikyu! Uh, Saf says, I've only watched clips of Doctor Who, but it looks like your kind of show. Absolutely! Doctor Who is fabulous! I don't know what streaming platforms it's on nowadays, though. I used to watch it back when Netflix had DVDs on Netflix. That's how long ago it was that I started watching Doctor Who. It's on HBO Max. Oh, I don't have HBO Max. The new guys from Sex Education. Oh, with um, Sully from X-Files. That show was good. Back in my day. <laughs> There's monsters! Monstrous evil roaming the western desert. It's a huge tree, a tree that moves on its own, I tell you. Okay, got that. Beyond the desert, far, far to the west, is a village full of eccentric people who claim to be descended from the ancients, whatever that means. That was in the last game. No, the first game. There was a bunch of ancient people. They were like bird people. Bacchus's Cider. High Potion. You can use my Nagasin. I can send you the creds. Okay. That would be cool. A Lamia Scale. 
Can I go in here? No. The mayor of Tokwa lives here. If you want to know more about our plight, you should ask him. I'm the mayor. We've been beset by soldiers coming from the western desert since the quake. They seize our food and capture our able-bodied citizens. The town is on its knees, and there's nothing we can do to stop them. What's with all the slavery tropes? Ooh. San Setsukan? Genpo? Phoenix Down. Ooh. I don't have a, a thing. The new doctor is Sully's kids gave us rent. Oh, that sounds cool. I need to finish that show. I started it. An interesting series. There's a hidden staircase in the heart that leads to a storm of weapons and a few other things. We're peaceful folks. No one is prepared to fight. Please take whatever you need to save our town. Done it. They're planning to have a trans companion this season. Hype. That's awesome. I love that, Emmy. So there's no shops here. There's just... Okay. Can I go in this well? Is there a thing in the well? No. There's one in the other town. That was kind of cool. What is y'all's favorite uh, companion in Doctor Who? I... Hmm. I don't know who I would say is my favorite companion. It's hard to say. I think, actually no, I think I would say Donna Noble. Donna Noble is probably my favorite companion. She's just a chaotic, chaotic being. I love Donna Noble. Uh, Rose and Donna, really like Amy and Bill. Yeah, they're cool. Alright, Kite, enjoy your lurk. Appreciate you. Okay, so King Argus, I think, is up here then in this castle? Castle Argus. Donna is going to be in the 60th anniversary special. Sweet, sweet. Uh, Saf knows very little about any of their characters, just know Jenna Coleman is cutie. Jenna Coleman is a cutie. Can confirm. Love Clara. She's adorable. I stand Clara. Her story is, like, very sad, though. I won't spoil anything, but it's really sad. <laughs> So there's nobody here? Oh, treasure. Bomb fragment. Antarctic wind. Tranquilizer. Okay. Um, that's the one I came from, correct? Okay. That's a cool table, a round table. Never seen that in a Final Fantasy game. Uh, didn't like Jenna Coleman as a companion with Matt Smith, but wandered up liking her with Capaldi. Okay, so she grew on you after some uh, character development, it sounds. That brassiere looked different. I'm glad I clicked it. More money, more money, more money. Oh, even more money. Holy cow. Money, money, money. Oh, look, Aya. Hey, thanks for the group hydrate, friend. How's your evening going? We are beginning our gameplay of Final Fantasy III, the Pixel Remaster. We've got some friends who uh, have played the DS version, but as far as I know, nobody uh, here has been able to get their hands on the Pixel Remaster game, so I'm doing my first playthrough of it. Pretty good, just lurking? Enjoy your lurk. Welcome. It's good to see you here. 
give a shout out to Aya. Best uh, Final Fantasy XIV DJ there is. If y'all aren't following, I recommend it. I think Lagai also has been doing some cool uh, Final Fantasy XIV venue reviews and a blog kind of documenting some various locales that he's exploring, which I think is really cute. I thought about doing that myself, and I was like, you know what? You're a better pro at that. <laughs> but you do that. Uh, you're most welcome. You have a Super Nintendo cartridge, but obviously it's six, not three. I also have that cartridge that's six, not three. That is my favorite Final Fantasy game, six. All right, so there's nothing here. I noticed, I don't know if you follow Lagaya, um, Chili Farmer, uh, YouTuber slash Twitch streamer, but he's been doing Karen's Court <laughs> game and streaming it. It's the funniest thing. It is the funniest thing. Karen of Eorzea has court now. <laughs> Fishies. You heard about it? Oh good. It's the cutest thing. I love Julie Farmer, he's so funny. I offered to him, um, he was looking for a, a nightclub venue to do some filming. I was like, go check mine out, feel free. Film all you want. <laughs> Would love for him to do that. That would be so cool. Oh look, fairies! You know, these fairies look a lot like the fairy we rescued in Final Fantasy 1. Have you heard of Heen? He uses the barrier shift spell to change his weakness. The elder tree of these woods was cursed and carved into the shape of a monstrous castle. Now it wanders the desert aimlessly. We must help. These woods are alive. The mage who changed the elder tree into a wandering creature can change his weakness. One who can see through his deception may be able to defeat him. Without the elder tree, these woods will soon perish. Our home, our friends, the trees will wither. Hayen, the royal advisor of Castle Argus, is the one who cursed the elder tree to wander the land. I hear the cries of the woods. They weep for the elder tree that has made these woods its home for 10,000 years. But that great tree is cursed by a despicable mage and left the woods behind. We are the fairies who inhabit the woods. Oh, the guy, when do I actually open? I was opening for, on Thursdays for a while, and I wasn't getting a lot of folks to come in ever since cross-world travel has become a thing. The competition of the party finder has been quite the quite competitious. <laughs> so I've actually taken a little break from opening the venue to focus on doing some Twitch streaming. Uh, but I think once I've been a little more established on Twitch, that's one of the streams I would like to do uh, is doing some RP in my venue and streaming it. But for now, I am kind of taking a break for the moment. I also like feel like I need to hire some staff and I just don't have the spoons to manage that right now. <laughs> Obviously, I can't. That's the tree. I don't think I want to play with that tree. I want to check out this town first that's over here. Gorgon and Lizard Man. Ha! <laughs> Saf Kite and will stop the venue. Oh dear. I'm pretty sure Kite already uh, is staffing her venue that she and Zach set up.
Chocobos! Smells like chocobos. Hmm. Chocobo, giddy up. Oops. Oh. I got a chocobo. What does. Is there anything over here? I'm scared to have to walk back if I'm. <laughs> if I jump off. So we are literally on a floating continent, it appears to be. It's kind of neat. Kite has an RP vignette? Yeah! Oh, perfect. They put the town on the other side so you can get in. <laughs> Rude. Rude. Yeah, Kite and Zach, they opened... Um, oh, what's the name of it? Uh... It's in the void. They literally built it into the void of his house. It's in the same uh, district of the Imperium is mine. It's just a different plot. I think it's number eight or nine. Void Cafe. The Void Cafe is uh, what it's called. It's literally built up into the void of the house. It's really cool. <laughs> Fel says he'll keep it nice and dot 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 classy. Ooh. I think there's something about a big chocobo in this game. I don't know if it really is relevant in this game, but I think it's a mini game. Village of the Ancients. Anything on this level? Treasure, maybe? Items? No? Ooh, I mean, you're going for the uh, not to, huh? I don't know what that Pokemon is. I'm so old, I don't know what any of these Pokemon are anymore. It used to be just, like, one generation. <laughs> this Gen 3? Yeah, I don't know it. I saw there's some big hype. I think there's a new um, mainline Pokemon game that's coming out. Heard some people buzzing about that. Ooh. Night Staff, a Light Bow. Uses Thunder. Killer Bow. Ice Arrow. Scarlet and Violet. Fancy, fancy. I think I want to give a red mage a light staff. That sounds cool. And we'll keep him with a shield. But he can cast thunder with it. That's cool. Do, do, do. Headband. Nobody can wear that. Mage robe. Building worn by mage users. Flame mount. Tired by. Okay, South. Good night. Good night. Get some sleep. Oh, not GM. Good night. <laughs> there you go. Flame 
like I'm running out of magic here. I haven't even got to the, or I, money and I haven't got to the magic shop yet. Guess we can earn some kill. Level up a little bit. What's this random child doing down this level? You actually went and did it. You made it all the way around the continent. Much boy, here's your prize. Oh, thanks. Ah, uh, good night, Emmy. Thanks for hanging out with me. Get some rest. Yeah, I'm looking. It's about three hours we've been streaming. I should probably end here shortly. I'm gonna check out the shops. We are descendants of the ancients, creators of civilization. As you know, we live in harmony with nature, as is our creed. Okay. Light and dark are living forces. When the time is right, they choose four young heroes unto whom they bequeath their powers. The warriors of dark were for such people chosen to save the world from the wrath of light. But the balance has shifted once more. It is up to you to restore the light. Do not abuse this awesome power. We have but one rule. Surrender to the greater will of the world. One cannot rely on modern machinery. Chocobo's nest in the forest to east of here. Have you been by any chance? Would you believe me if I said this whole continent was floating in the air? It's true. The ancients discovered a way to suspend the very earth, a wonder that continues to this day. The Tower of Odin provides us the power that keeps us afloat. I did notice that when I took the Chocobo around the world. We are floating in the air. Alright, we got for magic. Because I know I'm broke. Teleports out of a dungeon or battle. Moves blindness. Uh, displays a detailed map. That's a cool spell. And I already gave that spell away. So maybe we'll give a Thundara to our Red Mage. Take that, take that, and I'm broke. Okay. No more spells, okay. Dara. Could forget... Let's have you forget, Cure. Magic. Remove fire. Does that lose the item or do I get it back? I get it back. That is cool. So it's kind of like materia slots, honestly. That's super cool. So it brings up the map of the world. That is cool. And I think there's this house. Oh. It's the save you from getting knocked out thing. He doesn't give me anything new. Alright, we're gonna rest up. And we're gonna save our game and then we're gonna pop and see if anybody's on that we'd like to raid. I am totally open to suggestions. Uh, if there's any of your friends who are on streaming right now that you'd like us to go visit this evening, we can go do that. Get this thing switched over here. Doop, doop. To our intermission. All right. So thank you again, friends, for joining me on our stream on Tuesdays of playing every Final Fantasy. Uh, we will be picking this back up next week, same time, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, to continue Final Fantasy III. 
you are interested in following any of my socials to keep up with me, they are all linked right there on Linktree. And I also want to extend the invitation if anybody is interested in joining my cozy little Discord corner. It is right there as well. So this is my first Twitch stream as affiliate, and we've already got four subscribers. That is amazing. That is amazing. And we are only four followers away from our weekly follow goal. So I think that today has been absolute success. Absolute success. And I think each and every one of you is part of that success. So I appreciate y'all for supporting the stream and enjoying our cozy little community. So I'm going to pop over here and see who is on at the moment. If there's anybody we can go visit. I see Monica's on. Monica's playing Cult of the Lamb. Love Monica. She's a very sweet, cozy streamer out in California. That's probably a good choice. Let's go visit Monica. Yeah. All right. So let me get this set up. So if y'all would like to copy the raid message, it is right there for our regular users. If you happen to be a subscriber, there is the subscriber raid right there. And I know Streamlabs is not uh, subscribed to me, so that's what it looks like. <laughs> uh, those two messages are right there. Feel free to copy the one that is appropriate for you. And we're going to go to 